It is great to have you with us on the cafe. Now, it was a joyous retelling of the Bible story of Joseph, his 11 scheming brothers, and of course, his coat of many colors. And with some of the catchiest songs and with a reimagined contemporary twist as well, Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is already thrilling Kiwi audiences. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its lead star, Earl Gregory. Yes! Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Firstly, me. Firstly, I do not remember my school production, which I was in the choir, and uh, Mike was Joseph and his. I don't remember so many people in there in their tighty little underpant things. We had clothes on and out. <laughs> and there wasn't so many backflips either. This has really been reimagined, hasn't it? Absolutely, it has. Um, you know, but I think a lot of people are quite nostalgic when it comes to the show. And, like, a lot of people always ask when um, when they come, is it still going to be the, the, the show that, like, you have in mind? But, like, what I think is so absolutely great about the show is that they've contemporize it and brought it into the now you know so like as you say there are backflips we crump we do hip-hop we do like everything that uh, the child on the street would be doing right now in 2017 so and, yeah you know wow. and let's be honest if we all have bodies like Earl we'd all have our tops off at the show you know <laughs> so, um, now you're in full performance mode at the moment do you know what number show of Joseph this is for you not on just this tour, but Joseph, full stop. Oh, wow. Um, on the tour, I think I'm standing at about 377 wow. <laughs> performances, <laughs> and I haven't been off once. Um, yeah, but in total, it must be just over 700, because I've done the show about 13 years ago. Gosh, because you started it. This is what launched your career, isn't it? Yeah, I was, I was 20 years old when I, when, I, when I first played the role of Joseph. And look at you now. How do you keep yourself well, then, if you've, have, you've never had a night off from it, or you, you managed yeah. to not be sick? I mean, how do you do it? <laughs> you're you're <laughs> under study must hate you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is today going to be the day, though? Yeah, no. Can I, just tell you, can I tell you a really interesting story? When we arrived, we all were incredibly jet-lagged, and um, setting up the show was just so intense. You know, like, I suffered from immense like vertigo and I, I had a case of bronchitis and I still had to you know do the show um, but I think you, you you kind of go into muscle memory and mm. everything just kind of happens you know but resting a lot getting a lot of sleep drinking lots of water yeah and, yeah. and what yeah what is your day like because I guess you know when you look at how many performances and this show is very intense do you have a good sleep in and then go and rehearse or do you have to you know do you have to touch up every day fortunately not um, we kind of put the show together in two weeks um, but it's it's an easy show to put up because it's the the, the length of playtime is very short um, but we've been doing it for a year now so we don't yeah. really rehearse that much but my my typical day is really trying to sleep as much as I can because vocal rest is as you know yes. it's very important yes. <laughs> I know that feeling yeah um, speaking of which the songs and it uh, we were having an argument about one of the songs weren't we yeah so I want to know when he's talking about his coat is it it was red and yellow and green and gold and orange and black? What did you think it was? <laughs> red and yellow and purple and green and black. So what it is it? It was red and yellow and green and brown. Oh! And I've got it. <laughs> 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 nice. And you know, the great thing is with Joseph, I think, and this is why people love it, the music's so varied. You've, you know, there's even Elvis in it, really, isn't there? Yeah, it's it's incredibly nostalgic and it, it has a lot of pastiche. Um, so it's um, different styles, musical genres in the show. And like, you really see Mr. Lloyd Webber's brilliance, you know, mm. by by all these different styles of, of music. And it's incredible to, to, to see. And my favorite part of the show is there's a monitor where you can um, see the conductor and sometimes you have all the kids in the front row and the monitor's got like this weird kind of glare that makes the kids eyes red and you can literally see as the over, um, the overture starts their eyes just light up and they get immersed into this world you know and well, it's like the magic of the show clearly is still uh, there you know and it's still yeah. like very relevant. Well the thing is too it was, it was it was done primarily for schools to do wasn't it to begin with because like I think there's just about everyone here has done it as well yeah. but it still has that magic as well. You called it the Jurassic Park Park of musical theatre. <laughs> Where did it come from? <laughs> it's, you know what? It's it's right up there with with um, Mr. Lloyd Webber's iconic shows, you know, and I think everyone has that kind of connection to the show and it's so nostalgic. And I think what's really beautiful is seeing people uh, bringing like their grandkids to, to, yeah. to see this show because they've got this connection to yeah. the show and seeing how relevant it, it, it is to a kid in 2017. And being know, that really awesome. annoying person singing along beside us. Hey? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, to sing, honey. yeah, can I just say, like, with regard to that as well, as uh, sometimes you, you can see people who know the show so well and they, they lip sync or they mouth the words <laughs> to, the, to, to the show That's and right. it kind of unnerves you as an actor because you question yourself. Am I singing the right words? Yeah. Okay, okay. so have you still got that classic um, country track? 
second. There's one more, more angel, angel in heaven. heaven. Yeah, it's, there's it's, one more it's star. Totally yeah, I'll stop singing because the stars <laughs> oh, are here. Yeah, it's, so, it's so good. Well, it's been so nice to have you in the studio. Um, the show is amazing. We've seen it. I'm going to go and see it again, actually. I know you can see Earl, Star, and Joseph, and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat in Auckland, Wellington, and Christchurch. For more details, check out the websites on screen. Earl, thank you so much. Yeah, thank absolute you. pleasure, and congratulations. The show is awesome. Okay, now let's catch up with Holly.